Have you run a marathon before? Yeah. How long do you train for to run one? Ideally, like three or four runs, yeah. Uh, uh. In this video, I'm going to be running a marathon with zero training. Is this a good idea? Absolutely not. Is my body going to hate me for this? Yes. So guys, hit that like button. Thank you guys, and let's go. I am a little bit nervous. I am a little bit scared of the walls I'm going to inevitably hit tomorrow. It's time to go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Staying hydrated will be key to the success of this run. So I'm making homemade Gatorade right now, water, lime, and salt, mixing it up in a glass, chug a few glasses of that, and then of course, your pre-run shit. Oh. We see my uh, state-of-the-art shoes here. Morning. I decided to freestyle this entire run, just go wherever I wanted to go at that moment. So sometimes it'd be on a trail, sometimes it'd be through the woods. Just have fun and flow from place to place. We're only about two and a half miles in. My mouth is dry. I got this intense itching going on right now. It happens, I think, in cold weather when my body starts heating up. If you guys know what this is, tell me in the comments. Alrighty, it's time to get some water. I'm using this thing called the Life Straw. It's a water filtration device. I use it when I lived in the jungle of Ecuador, living with a tribe. So I trust it, it's battle tested, and I'm using it today to drink some water. That was the boost I needed, folks. Woo, I feel good. Let's get running. Top of the morning to you. Okay, I'm five miles in. I'm moving a lot slower than I thought I was. I'm worried also about the battery life. Battery life goes quicker in the cold, so this battery's close to toast. Just gonna put my head down, put a podcast on, get some miles under my belt, and keep it moving. I made it to Glendale, Wisconsin, which is about seven miles north of where I started. Time to turn around and look for some water. My legs are a lot more beat up than I thought they'd be this early. It is what it is, boy. Time to fuel up again. I am hurting. Right by a, a shopping cart. That should be good water, right? Time to battery change. I am hurting. I'm shuffling like I got a carrot in my ass. And I'm only 11 miles in. I underestimated this challenge. I likely have another about four hours. At the halfway point, I get a PB&J and Alice, my cameraman, joins me. But it's cold, my hands are cold. This is a tough one, baby. So today I'm trying to run a marathon. No preparation. Is that a bad idea? How you doing, man? I hit the first wall of the event. Just hit 14 miles. I am just shuffling my way. I'm waiting for Alice to get here. But my mindset is, look, I'm not winning any records with the speed. I just have to find a way to finish. I got my guy Alice here helping me track the journey. He brought water and a PB&J, and I'm excited. And I'm going to pass this off to him. This is what I've been looking forward to for about four miles now. Woo! I don't need to have sex for a week. I just got excited eating a PB&J. How's the body feeling, Tom? How, are you sore? Man, I did not think this quickly into it that I was gonna be shuffling. But one thing that is really important that I was thinking about is a lot of conditioning is very sport specific. So I can be an amazing shaped wrestler. I go swim in a pool. I'm gonna be tired quick. Same thing here. I haven't been running at all. So doing this is kind of a dumb idea. Hopefully we can actually find some runners here and interview them and see what their thoughts are. Even if I have to walk, run, even if I have to crawl, I'm gonna find a way to finish this. This is why we brought layers when it's the winter. 
The fingers are getting real cold. The body's getting cold. Hey, littering is for pussies. Oh. Oh. I should have brought you a CBD joint. Yeah. Everything is a struggle yeah. right now. You gotta want it, Tom. You gotta want it. <laughs> Believe, achieve, succeed. All right, I feel like I might be getting a second win. It blows my mind how some people are so tough. Like people that climb up mountains with no ropes. That's insane. People that run ultra marathons all the time. That's insane. And doing these challenges makes, it just kind of reveals how soft you are. You think you're a big tough guy and then it doesn't take long for you to be thinking about quitting and taking it easy and choosing the path of comfort. For over a day, you know. Oh, scrap it. It's always the always the little dogs that think they can get you. My body is getting beat up. And if you can listen to this, <laughs> I got some gas too. I do have a little bit of toilet paper in case I need to go. <laughs> a lot of Milwaukee folks out hitting the trails. It's a good day, baby. Another fart for you guys, ready? Oh, Tom. Alice is gonna go home. I'm gonna go back to filming on my own until the end of it where he comes back. He got it. Yeah. One, one mile at a time. Yeah. My body hurts, boy. How bad does this running look? Looks like you're in a little pain. Uh, <laughs> this is the time when the thoughts creep in about quitting. But your mind is the last frontier. I know, I know, I know. I can stick it out when things get tough and it's not gonna be a pretty performance as you're seeing. I'm not gonna win anything on ESPN by finishing my, my run here, but I'm finishing it, man. About to hit mile 18, boom. Going ridiculously, pathetically, and embarrassingly slow. My body is just not keeping up with me. I'm going back into the woods. It might even be tougher terrain, a little slower moving but it's interesting, it keeps the mind fresh, and I just wanna do a loop to get back to my house. I got about seven miles to clock. Uh, uh, fuck, I have six small miles. To keep my mind off the pain in my body, I decided to call up some friends. Can I ask you guys a question real quick? Yeah. You guys look like your regular runners. Yeah. Have you run a marathon before? Yeah. How long do you train for to run one? Uh, it depends on how good, I'm, how good I am about it, but... Like, months, right? ideally like three or four months, yeah. Okay, thank you guys, appreciate it. There's a guy that's been camping out here for a while now. I think I'll see his tent in a little bit. I'm almost at 22 miles, which means I'm down to about the final four miles. My plan is to walk the city streets within striking distance of my house. I'm gonna buckle down, see you guys in two or three miles. I am one mile away from finishing. I'm going to pay for this for the next two or three days. This is, I'm jacked up, boy. So next time you see me, Alice will have the camera. Let's go. It ain't pretty guys, but it's working. We got 26 miles. We got 0.2 more to go. Oh, let's go grandpa. <laughs> How bad does this look? <laughs> does this look ridiculous? A little bit. My body just not working right. Oh. Okay, this is the fast finish. You gotta sprint for the finish line. This is the fast finish. <laughs> I'm 
the yeah, world's slowest marathon. Don't try this at home. Oh my gosh. Show us the time. <laughs> Six hours, dude. <laughs> By mile like a 10 or 11, I was in trouble. So now it's time for home, sweet home. Did you fall, Tom? A couple of times. <laughs> Did you have a bunch of butt on your, or uh, dirt on your butt? Yellow. Hi. Oh. Okay. The good thing, and this is something that I was looking forward to all run. We're gonna have some New Year's steaks. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm beat. I'm done. It's time to celebrate. My body's gonna be paying for this. I'm wishing you guys the best as you chase your dreams in 2022. And um, thank you for hanging around to watch this. So, peace. Always been on the hustle, always been on the grind, always been with the muscle, always been on my mind. Just look at my knuckle, like they covered with grime. Cause I get my hands dirty like all the time.